I'm on my way. Oh, hi. Are you on your way out? I saw on your schedule you had some free time, and I was really hoping that maybe you can talk to us for a minute. Um, sorry, Elizabeth. Now's not a good time. I'm sorry. I know we don't have an appointment. We'll just schedule something for later. Mom, is this because of the man I saw in the park? I just wanted to get Dr. Maddox's opinion on what happened, but we'll reschedule. You know what? No, give me a... just give me a minute. Oh, really? I don't, I don't want to impose. It's fine. Not at all. Not at all. Please. Please. Jake, look. <laughs> it's Franco's special painting. You bought it? Cool. Yes. Oh, I always pictured it in a home. Not uh, an office. Well, unfortunately, I'm here more than I am at home, and I enjoy the painting, and this way I get to see a lot more of it. Uh, shall we start? Can I sit in on this? Do you mind? No, I'm fine. Okay. Then I'm fine, too. Please. So, so tell me, Jake. What's going on, bud? I think my mom wants me to talk about the man I saw in the park yesterday. My dad said no one was there, but... He was. I saw him. Was there anything special about this man? He looks like my dad used to. Before. This is a little complicated, Jake, so I need you to explain. The man looked like your dad? Not how he looks now. You see, my dad was in a car accident, and it changed his face. So the man in the park looks like him before the accident. And you remember what your dad looked like before the accident? That, that was before Helena took you away. You were pretty young. Well, I've seen pictures. And I think maybe I remember him a little. So when I saw the man in the park, I thought it was him. And you never saw this man? No. No, we were on our way back from a field trip. And Jake thought he heard someone call his name, but I didn't hear anything. And then Jason met us there, and we let him go get some hot chocolate. And on his way back, he said he saw this man. But then Jason went to check, and there was, there was no one there. So what happened when you saw the man, Jake? Did he speak to you? I was coming back from the hot chocolate stand when I saw him. And what was he doing? Did he reach out to you? No, he just was standing there watching. And then he smiled. And so I smiled back. And then I brought the hot chocolates to my mom and dad. So you never heard his voice? Like mom told you, when we got to the park, I heard someone say my name. I think it was him, but I'm not sure. I didn't see him at that time. Can we please just go get my Halloween costume? You promised we'd get it. Yes, yes, yes. Um, let me just finish up with Dr. Maddox first. And can you do me a favor? Can you go get me a bottle of water and get whatever you want at the vending machine? And I'll be right there. Well, thanks. Goodbye, Dr. Maddox. I'll see you later, buddy. I didn't have enough to get the chips and your water, so I just got your water. That was sweet of you. Thank you. But here, take this. Get yourself something else while I check my schedule. I thought you guys were going Halloween costume shopping. What happened? Oh, we are. In a minute. Hey, I need to talk to you. Why? What's going on? Well, I'm worried about Jake and Jason. So, is Jake having a hard time with his dad? No, no. It's, it's, um, it's nothing like that. But Jake is suddenly very interested in the way Jason used to look. <laughs> 